Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a little minute production. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, nope, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, okay, this is a update review of the Gundam Triple XG Fighter thingy. Worth Reshipment Fighter. Yep, just read it. Uh, tilt your head upside down and you will see it. The fighter shipment, whatever. So let's see. And uh, all the stuff is in here. And uh, oh, yeah, my did some uh, coloring on this piece here. Going fine. Okay. Let's see me naked, are you? <laughs> so the reshipment fighter, this is AKA Heavy Arms by TT Hongli. So nice booklet, very thick, and uh, brightly so it being thick since there are so many parts to this master grade, well, master grade. So uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of parts to actually do it. Um, hey, where the fuck is it? Uh, where's that? Hey, it's gone. Oh yeah, it's on the bed. Uh, <coughs> okay. So I've been doing the inner frame copy. This is the first first uh, part that you have to do or I have to do. So. I think I don't think you can find this in Chalky anymore. Um, I think it's all gone. But uh, just in case you want to go and find out, just go to that Union Eight uh, in, on Jalan Raja Laut, and uh, maybe they have some left, or maybe at the uh, what's this called uh, Toy uh, Shit Fuck. Ah, uh, what's the name already? Toy? No, no, no. Ah, fuck! I forgot the name. God damn it! When you're old, you forget things. Time toy bar. Yep, time toy bar to find out what Gundams they have here. So do check it out if you want a, a perfect grade, perfect grade, uh, what should I call it? Perfect grade uh, wing custom zero. There's that's that's the place to buy because uh, I I ordered through the guy and the the boss uh, bought a few for himself to sell to other people like me and you. And also there is the Cubile by MC model, the high grade, that's good shit as well. So do check it out. And okay. So this is the inner frame for the torso here. So it looks really, really, really detailed. Very detailed indeed. It'd be nice to actually paint it, but fuck. I don't think so. Nothing's happening. So you can see the motherfucking asshole here inside there uh, Not painted, it's white in colour The guy forgot, I don't know what's his name Because I haven't watched uh, Gundam Wing yet Hopefully in the near future Far future, near future, who gives a shit So I really really dig this torso And uh, it is a very small torso, okay The Gundam Wing, the universe itself, it's the Gundams are pretty pretty small. They are not as big as the ones you find in the Universal Century Unicorn where all Gundams are much much bigger. Very very big. So in this uh, Gundam Wing universe, they are, the Gundams are pretty pretty small. So I guess, I can venture a guess that this is actually the head. Because it can move like so and like so. Show you. Like so and like so. I think this is the head. I might be wrong. I might be wrong indeed because uh, well no I I think I'm pretty sure it's the head because you look at here this one here is actually I think is for the arms and boy they are quite small indeed so you can open it like this and like this so it's almost similar to the Zaku 2 but the inner frame oh my god it's all grey okay but uh, if you are a person who loves to paint, like say uh, Brigitte or or what's his name, uh, Jackman, Jackman does not paint much. 
uh, but it's Vegeta you should like uh, see his videos V E G E T A number 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 I don't know what's the number uh, do you want me to find it out for you for sure oops not good wallpaper so okay Vegeta just type in his name Vegeta 8259 Yep, Vegeta 8259 you can go into my channel and it's in the featured channel so definitely uh, he likes to paint I do not of course I haven't gotten my Mr. Hobby paints yet uh, I'm gonna abandon the fucking stupid uh, markers because they keep on rubbing out no matter how good it is whether it's from Bandai whether it's from Mr. Hobby whether it's genuine or not genuine or just a, a normal type of uh, stationary permanent marker it rubs off so your best bet is to get paints such as this one and just uh, paint away. So uh, the copy here is actually round in cut, round in uh, yeah, it's round and I don't think it can move at all. Shit. So you can see this round, 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 round. The so it would be good of you to actually paint it something else, uh, like say silver. Uh, fuck. Oh, but only problem is once you have uh, put it together already if you were to like try to take it out you'll be in a world of pain because the pegs are very 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 tiny and and uh, i think you'll stress it and you'll crack and blah 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 same goes for everything this tt hongli so plastic is not that uh, good and uh, i think uh, i don't know about bandai uh, i'm not sure about them so you can paint it silver uh, I think that's how it goes but I just don't know how to actually don't know how to actually take it out uh, let's stress it really fucking hell so if you want to do painting you have to plan ahead I don't know whether you can actually see the damn fucking cockpit or not once you put all the armor together that's the problem because you can see here the Gatling guns thingy it will be just blocking it the only thing that's visible is this uh, square thingy shape thing oh sorry fuck this square thing here the Gatling guns is in front you can't see the cockpit also what's the point in painting it and uh, this is a square thing you can paint that one or I can paint that one silver or something else before putting on the armor so you can consider that but uh, if I want to have uh, an obstruct unobstructed uh, uh, painting I have to take this damn thing out and that would be a pain in the fucking arse not that I like soda me but if the guy is really really handsome and I would do him in a minute I would do so so uh, I don't think nope I don't see any way of actually seeing the damn cockpit at all there's no opening at all so I guess I will abandon, abandon the idea of actually coloring that motherfucking round cockpit but the the master grade detail of the inner frame wow it is great of course if you compare this to a non grade of course the master grade is really really great so nope i don't see any view of that uh, cockpit at all so what's the point of putting the damn round cockpit a uh, spherical cockpit in a in a gundam that you won't actually get to see at all so uh, that's the dilemma of master grades I wish they would make something which, which everything would actually be able to be packed out you know uh, something like the ma my perfect grade not, in, on, not in, only in terms of the armor but also the inner frame so the armor can come out easily with pegs click and also the inner frame can click as well wow that would be I would call it a superior grade that's a new thing that Bandai can actually produce of course they will take a lot of uh, a feat of engineering to like make it proper uh, I wouldn't I think the size of this type of uh, of this new superior grade which I'm calling the SD it's not super you know SD SG <coughs> uh, which Bandai might in one day make because of my excellent excellent uh, suggestion here uh, I don't think I would, would want it to be in 160 scale I would want it to be in 148 scale similar to the mega size uh, mega size mobile suits or Gundams that they are churning out now uh, days so it looks great in this one here really really nice this was uh, going to be uh, 
be seen outside so uh, you can paint it or you can just leave it as grey because um, you don't see the inner frame much at all this whole grey thing nope but you can see the spherical there it is something you can paint if you wanted to unfortunately for me I have already like pegged it in and uh, taking it out would be fucking suicidal so I think that's about it about this one here and uh, yeah I would like to do a question thingy thingy and whatever uh, hopefully no surprises in the nope no surprises at all thank god so let's see here uh, so I got a email from a guy named Dex Tim studying I don't know what's his age but never mind not important this is the internet so he says, dude, you finally got them, haha, -ha. by the way, how did you get them half price? So he's referring to my new video of the q by MC Model, looking awesome in his box cover or box art, it's really, really nice. And also next to it is the Mega Size, Perfect Grade, 160 Scale, W Fighter Zero Custom from Gundam Wing, and this one is from TT Hongli. So, uh, okay, the problem with uh, Malaysia now when it comes to pirated Gundams is uh, uh, people like those warehouse fellas and also the ones in, uh, okay, the warehouse fellas who sell toys to other toy shops, they sell it, of course, at a uh, very cheap rate, okay? That's how they do business. Their main core customers are shops that sell toys. So these warehouse fellas, they will sell to them very, very cheaply. Of course, they have their own margin of uh, profit, profitability, profitability, uh, profitable, whatever, uh, margin of profit. Uh, and uh, they, they, of course, uh, you go to China, you can you find Titi Hongli there. You buy it. It come. It costs only one ringgit or whatever per box. I don't know how much it is. But if you can find TD Hongli, just go there and just buy the fuck out all those all those uh, Gundams and just sell it in, in Malaysia for a mint. But unfortunately for Malaysia, the ones who are selling it to us, the small toy shops and uh, let's say toy shops in uh, where? Okay, any regular type of uh, toy shops that sell Chin Chinese uh, toys. I'm not talking about toys RRs or Jai Jasko or any other of those uh, legitimate uh, malls those are regular type of toy shops uh, they sell it at a very very expensive price almost similar to the price that you get for Bandai kits so what the fuck uh, they are doing they are doing it wrong it's epic fail for them so only dumb asses would actually actually buy from them because it's just too expensive and they those people who buy them I think they don't care about price uh, they don't give a shit they see something that they like and they just buy it there and then without actually shopping around uh, like say in uh, going to like Bajai Times Square to compare the prices between Time Machine, One Toys and Gamers Arena or in Laoya Plaza the what do you call that stupid thing is called Toys Fantasy yeah. Toy Fantasy so uh, they are selling it too expensive the ones in the bookstore regular toy shops uh, it's not supposed to be that expensive it's not supposed to be three times the cost that they got it from the warehouse uh, the warehouse people in uh, like say in uh, Chow Kit or Jalan Rajalaut okay so if you were to venture like say Dex team here if you were to venture into that uh, uh, what we call time toy bar or Union 8 so you have to go and be friend with them and uh, act as if you are a toy shop owner and you want to buy stuff. It's, they they will always say, okay, you can you should buy more than six, then you can get half price or or uh, customer friend price or whatever you call it. So uh, definitely, when it comes to Cubile, I paid right eight. The 80 ringgit for it and I'm not that happy with that I would, would have preferred to get it at 60 ringgit but then there and then uh, well what the fuck who cares uh, 20 bucks extra I can actually buy something else with 20 bucks like say uh, what a meal two meals at McDonald's no make it three meals at McDonald's wait uh, seven ringgit for one regular meal at at uh, well at uh, regular time no not regular times at special times like lunchtime and dinner time i think it would cost me about seven ringgit 
of course i don't actually go to mcdonald's because i know that the uh, food is cancer causing so uh yes uh, if you go to kfc go and get that uh, chicken rice meal that one is uh, i think is not much better than those fucking burgers which is uh, made not for meat but from chemicals scum and whatnot so you can seven fourteen twenty one. So you can get three meals uh, of uh, from MacD with uh, twenty bucks, sure twenty ringgit. So uh, okay, never mind. When it comes to this uh, W Fighter Zero Custom here, I got it at hundred and eighty ringgit. I uh, would have wanted to pay about hundred to hundred and fifty ringgit, but uh, then then uh, fucking hell, they need to make some money, the warehouse guys. So what the fuck? Who cares? Okay, I care. Money is money. So next team, uh, just go there and uh, pretend that you are a big short toy owner and just buy one of each. Okay? Uh, or be friend with them, give them some services which you, I mean the owner that is, give them some services like I would give them some of my, uh, my artwork uh, and uh, be nice to them, give them some cigars and whatnot, blow them if you need to but um, not, I don't advise on it. So uh, that's how you get uh, better price of course the better price this one is is not as better as I expect it to be so uh, that's it I'm not gonna answer any more questions because there's nothing to answer anymore so hopefully next team will like uh, well we'll we'll watch this this uh, what heavy arms video and uh, learn of his answer of course I have to like say write down the answer as well just in case uh, they don't watch these videos of my heavy arms thingy so see you Malaysia it's a nice day did I tell you the date the 1st of October two, 2013 it's a Thursday uh, well today I went and uh, went and uh, reunite with my friend Sam Lau uh, the chef uh, at uh, Batu Caves and I must say I'm gonna give my two cents worth of Batu Caves Batu Caves uh, is a very big place and uh, and it's commercialized to the fuck and tit it is very commercialized already a lot of tourists there yes there are uh, is a big hole in the in the mountain or no it's not a mountain it's a hill it's cool up there, nice, very nice. And why the fuck are there fucking monkeys? Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with them? They are breeding monkeys. There is a big fucking cage there. What the fuck? I don't agree with the the excuse me the the monkeys there. I don't like them. Of course, uh, I mean the monkeys are a better alternative to rats. Um, well. If you were in India, then rats are the ones that are like the monkeys here. So, of course, we don't need enough. <coughs> we have enough rats already in KL. You, if you at night you go and uh, go and walk around at twelve midnight, of course, uh, what the fuck are you doing at midnight in KL? You see a lot of uh, rats running here and running there and trying to gather food. So we have enough rats already, and we have a lot of rats in the political system there. So. Well, we don't need any more rats. So, I don't agree with the monkeys. And there are already a lot of bats. Uh, bats, oh my god, it smells of urine. And you have to pay money to get into that dark cave, which is not the Batu Caves. There is another uh, adjacent uh, hole, uh, which you have to pay. I think for Malaysian, it's 20 ringgit. For if you are white or you are a tourist, then it's 40 ringgit. So, it's a bit racist as well. Um, Everything in Malaysia is racist. You buy a house, it, uh, the the bigger bigger race gets five percent. So what the fuck? Who cares? I mean, it's ingrained in our, into our mentality already. So if I was um, if I was one of the big races or the, okay, fuck it. If I was one of the Malays, I would be very fucking happy happy to get five percent off compared to my brethren, the Chinese, who have to pay the full price. Ha ha ha! Fuck them. Uh, I get this one because I got nice skin color, I'm a Malay and I am praying to Allah. So if I was in their shoes, I would be happy with 5% off. So who gives a shit? So <clears throat> so uh, when it comes to Batu Caves, uh, I smell the urine, okay, the, the urine from the monkeys, fucking hell. I did not like it, okay, just from, I mean there's not much trash there in the Batu Caves itself. But the smell of urine reminds me of a place of homelessness. Just like uh, in, uh, well, uh, in Chowkit itself, the Jalan Rajalau, you go there at 6am, which I've done so two or three times already. 
you can see the homeless people there they you can smell the shit you can smell the urine there oh my god uh, it's kind of weird okay so battle caves i would give it uh i'm gonna give it a star rating i would give it a five stars out of ten um i've i've gone there already it's one feather in my cap uh, i'm not gonna go there anymore fucking hell don't give a shit okay that i'm not gonna go there anymore if you want to have nice caves uh experience uh of non of not the carnal type uh uh not the sexual type of hole that you want to like explore well you can actually go to other places i haven't been to guania right i haven't gone to guania in uh, sabah who's it sarawak who gives a shit i think it's sarawak I haven't gone to Guania, which you can fit in uh, 100 buses, double-decker buses from Britain. Uh, fuck it, I don't know why they want to fit so many buses in one hole. But since humans, they love to find holes and fill it with semen and whatever, that's fine by me. Uh, if you if you are in the region of Malaysia, Peninsula Malaysia, like Selangor or Perak, just go to Gua Tempurong. If you go to Gua Tempurong, it's fucking free. You go there. Bring your swimming trunk, your flash fucking light. Walk about one kilometer into the hole, and when you end, reach the end, and you it seems that there is no other uh, way to go, and uh, you find a small little puddle of water. Jump right inside with your swimming trunk and your flashlight and swim away deeper into Gua Tumpurong and hope to God that there is not a monsoon rain happening outside which will drown your fucking ass in Gua Tumpurong itself which is something you should try to avoid because you wouldn't want the other people who will be going to that place one month later to smell your rotting bloated corpse so uh yeah go to Goa Tumprong. it's free it's nice you can swim inside it if you can like walk into it for one like say one kilometer just go into it this that is natural beauty okay just go inside there and there's one area in Goa Tumprong itself where fucking hell you can't hear shit from anywhere it is really 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 quiet you would just hear your own fucking heartbeat or your cock getting bigger and bigger because of the you know silence right it's not silence to the lambs so it's a nice place go to prong go and uh, go and explore it it's in perak and uh while you're in Gua Tumpurong, you must well stop by at Chenduriang. Chenduriang is where Lata Kinjang is the situated where where is uh, I mean that's a waterfall that you see when you're traveling on the north and south highway from KL to Ipo. That's the only there's the only fucking waterfall that you'll see on the right side of the north and south highway heading northwards. So that is a quite a nice waterfall, of course. Uh, of course the yeah it's a nice waterfall just go there and take a look uh, I have been to like three waterfalls so far Lata Kinjang, Lata Iskandar and uh, waterfall Ai Kenjing. so there's no Ai Kenjing in a wa waterfall Ai Kanjing so uh, I think uh, well I think I like Ai Kanjing because I seen two pretty ladies there what's the, what's the name Joyce Mark 2 and also what's the name fucking hell uh tatiana yeah that's a uh, good memories uh, talking to pretty girls that's one of the things that i like to do uh but when it comes to like say that uh okay all of them are nice okay all of these uh waterfalls are nice so just go to all of them explore it's the same shit it's water cascading over rocks and stuff and you pissing into the water and that's the same shit but it's always nice to go to a waterfall because you won't find anywhere in Malaysia where natural water is does not come in shit color okay not in shit color so well and I dare you to actually jump into the uh, uh, Sungai Klang okay that is pretty nasty so see you Malaysia and hopefully I have answered Dex Tim's answer. Oh sorry, question. See you Malaysia. Bye.